Coming up on today's episode of the Airborne Unlimited. New Shepard Booster coming to Air Venture. Rotax corrects fuel pump service bulletin. And Santa Monica turns up its nose at airport grants. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom. It's July 12, 2017, and this is Airborne Unlimited. It's certainly another only in Oshkosh first. Blue Origin will display its historic New Shepard rocket and astronaut crew capsule at AirVenture the week of July 24th through 30th. EAA AirVenture Oshkosh has always showcased innovation, imagination, and achievement in flight, which makes Blue Origin's presence at Oshkosh an excellent fit, said Jack J. Pelton, EAA CEO and Chairman. Blue Origin's exhibit will also feature a one-by-one -one mock-up of the new Shepard's astronaut crew capsule, which has seating for six people. Air Venture guests will be able to climb inside, recline in the flight-ready seats, and experience a simulated flight to space created with real mission footage from the new Shepard's onboard cameras. The crew capsule windows, which take up more than one-third of the capsule's surface area. We are very excited to come to EAA AirVenture Oshkosh 2017 and showcase our reusable new Shepard rocket and crew capsule so everyone can experience what it's like to be an astronaut, said Rob Meyerson, president of Blue Origin. In honor of EAA Space Day on July 28th, Blue Origin will give away branded merchandise to the first 1,000 visitors to exhibit on Boeing Plaza beginning at 12.30 p.m. Rotax has issued an urgent correction to its recently released service instruction SI-912I-015 fuel pump service kit for Rotax engine type 912I series. The service instruction contains a procedural error and will soon be replaced with a revised version. Step 5 will be amended to say, apply a suitable leak detection fluid to all holes connections and joints of the pressurized fuel system checking for leaks. This service instruction applies to all models of 912i series engines. 912IS, 912ISC, 912IS Sport, and 912ISC Sport. In order to comply with five-year rubber parts replacement requirements, Rotax has released a fuel pump service kit, part number 889537. This service instruction document details the correct procedures for using the service kit to replace all of the rubber parts contained within the fuel pump module. After the break, Santa Monica continues to do the inexplicable Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. Welcome back. If you'd like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at arrow-news.net. Inexplicably, the city of Santa Monica is reportedly spurning the FAA when it comes to potential federal grant money that could help the airport as long as it remains open. The Santa Monica Airport Association reports that the city has turned up its nose at federal grants available to all airports while accepting federal money for other projects. That means homeowners who live near the airport are unable to get federal assistance to help insulate their homes against airport noise, among other things. 
The SMAA says that the shenanigans by the city government cost Santa Monica taxpayers in waste, inefficiency, and poor local government. SMAA is a party to a federal lawsuit that is seeking to undo the deal made in January between the city and the FAA to close the airport on December 31st, 2028. The agreement also allows the city to shorten the runway to 3,500 feet in an effort to restrict jet traffic operating at the airport. A pending state lawsuit would negate the council resolution of January 2017 to close the airport. Both are expected to be decided late this year or early in 2018. With some 3,000 Aero TV programs webcast to cyberspace, Sometimes it can be fun to look back and enjoy some of the places we've seen, the flyers we've met, and the planes we've flown. Here's a look at one of our favorite Aero TV classic episodes. Well, Fifi's a B-29, uh, used in World War II. They made 3,970, roughly, B-29s. While at EAA AirVenture 2016, our a and video crew headed out to get some shots of the commemorative Air Force B-29 known as Fifi. We met up with Steve Zimmerman, who was the aircraft commander for Fifi, on this year's trip to Air Venture. Search Flying CAF's Fifi volunteers keeping an American treasure airworthy on Errol TV's news channel. After these messages, Cal Fire issues drone warning. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing a few of those other great stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. California fire officials are again warning hobby drone operators to not fly their aircraft near any wildfire. According to the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection statewide fire map, 16 wildfires have already damaged nearly 49,000 acres as a summer heat wave continues, and the fire season following a drought in the state could get worse. The FAA has announced AIP grants to hundreds of airports across the country. In a release, the FAA said it will award $105.3 million in airport infrastructure grants to 133 airports across the United States as part of the FAA's Airport Improvement Program. The Airport Grant Program funds various types of airport infrastructure projects, including runways, taxi rays, and airport signage, lighting, and markings, which helps to create thousands of jobs. Developers hoping to create a planned community near the Prescott, Arizona Municipal Airport have asked the city of Prescott to rezone a portion of the James Deep Well Ranch due south of the airport. Airport stakeholders posted a copy of a letter sent to residents living near the planned community detailing their zoning change request. Boeing recently announced a $1 million donation to benefit six nonprofit organizations providing rehabilitation and well being services for veteran and civilian groups globally. The announcement was made in conjunction with Boeing's sponsorship of the 2017 Department of Defense Warrior Games, which took place throughout Chicago June 30th to July 8th. The UK and Norwegian aviation authorities have set out plans for the lifting of operating restrictions on H-225LP and AS-332L2 helicopters. The restrictions were imposed following the fatal accident of an H-225 near Troy in Norway in April 2016. The two helicopter types, popularly known as Super Pumas, were restricted from being used commercially by UK and Norwegian operators. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's get back to the rest of the news. 
two USP-51 Mustangs involved in the Duxford Flying Legends Air Show had accidents last weekend. But fortunately, both pilots were uninjured in the incidents. The P-51D Berlin Express appeared to have lost its canopy during its performance Sunday. The airplane was flown across the Atlantic Ocean to perform at the Flying Legends Air Show. Images posted to Flickr show that the tail of the Berlin Express was damaged when the canopy detached from the airplane, and it was not known how long it would be unable to fly. Nick Gray was reportedly the pilot at the time of the incident. He was able to land the airplane safely. Meanwhile, another P-51D, Miss Velma, reportedly suffered an engine problem during the same show Sunday and was forced to make an off-airport landing in a field near the airport, but the pilot of that aircraft also walked away. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited streamed daily, Monday through Friday, of additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aerodashnews.net. Keep flying. We'll see you tomorrow.